<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Views. Um, today I have another beer from uh, Pontoon Brewing Company out of, I believe they're out of, uh, I know it's Georgia, but uh, Sandy Springs, Georgia. Um, this beer is called The Floor is Lava, which is hazy, fruity, magma. Um, it's a milkshake IPA with strawberries, guava, kiwi, vanilla, and lactose, and it is 7.5 uh, ABV doesn't say um, what types what type of hops are in this uh, so crack it open and see what we got So as you can see, it pours a, uh, a pretty hazy, um, darker orange color with about a finger's worth of a pretty fluffy white head. Uh, definitely has a fruity aroma. I am getting a little bit of the uh, the strawberry and the guava, but it does it does still come off. Um, As an IPA, there is a little bit of a like citrusy, earthy character, which I believe is from the hops. But I, like I said, I am getting the strawberry and the guava. Not not really necessarily getting the kiwi. It does also smell like um, just some sort of a uh, sweetness too, which could be from the lactose. I'm not sure, but I honestly don't know if lactose itself actually has a smell. So that might be a stupid thing to say. <clears throat> so it's kind of reminding me of a lot of these milkshake IPAs and why I don't particularly like them um, because there's not enough fruit in them to basically just be like a fruit smoothie like some of the kettle sours are and that's not to say that I want that but there's not enough for it to go that way, but there's enough to to cover up the hops where it really doesn't necessarily taste like an IPA either. Um, then especially probably with that, that lactose added, but also from whatever residual sugar I'm assuming is sitting around from the fruit. Um, it's just overly sweet for an IPA too. So it kind of ends up just, just being this uh, mishmash of uh, like bitterness, um overly sweet fruit flavor and that's about it but it just not none of it really melds well together and it kind of reminds me of um a lot of uh the fruited sour ipas too it's just there's too many different flavor things that don't really go together they're trying to be one in a beer and it's just not None, none of them is dominating, but they're also not melding together for a unique flavor either. It's kind of just a hodgepodge of different things. Um, so, and I, I will say, like, I again, this is another beer I got from one of the uh, Super Bowl polls that I've won. Um, I would not actively buy this or trade for this, because I generally just don't like these milkshake IPAs at all. At all. Uh, but... I, w I didn't, not that pontoon's bad, but I don't know enough about them where I would have taken the risk to buy this anyways. Um, I will say the, uh, it's probably because of the sweetness and the fruit character, but I will say the alcohol is hidden really well. I'm really not getting any of that at all. Not that 7.5 is like really strong, but it's strong enough. Usually you get a little kick of alcohol in an IPA and I'm really not getting that out of this. So I guess that's a, a, a plus for this one. Um, <clears throat> But it's still just, you know, not really in my wheelhouse. And uh, I mean, probably pretty obvious about what I've said so far. But my scale of uh, buy, drink, dump, I'm just going to give this one a drink. Um, I will drink the rest of it. It's not gross. It's not bad. Um, and I can understand why someone might like this. But for me, it's just not really my thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, 
and I don't think that I would uh, have any reason to buy this again. Even if I, for some reason, had the urge to drink this style, there's just better ones that I would seek out before this anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to give this one a drink. Uh, I have no problem finishing it, but I definitely would not want to pay money for this. So, I think that's all I got in this one. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.